Hey everybody, it's Steve. I've always been fascinated with black lights from the first time I saw one. They have a kind of magic way of bringing hidden things to life and showing colors glowing in a way that's really hard to describe unless you've seen it. In this video, I want to show you these cool little DMX lights made by Ryko that are not only black lights, but they're also powerful little LED wall washers and strobe lights. First unboxing one, then showing its features and menu controls, including the black light and strobe functions. Show how to control them with the DMX controller. And finally, show how to sync two of them together with a spooky soundtrack for your next scary event. So let's see what's in the box. Looks like it's well packed. Here's the unit. It comes with a power cord, instruction manual, and mounting bracket. This fixture is in a bar configuration with the controls on the bottom, where there's a standard AC in jack, DMX in and out, and a menu screen with an LED readout and control buttons. There's a mounting bracket that swivels 360 degrees, and on the front, nine four watt LEDs and nine three watt UV LEDs. When you power the unit up, it shows the DMX starting address and you can set that with the up and down buttons and you can hit enter to save. Then one press of the menu button and you're in a mode where there are 32 different static colors that are combinations of the LEDs and the UV LEDs. So you can pick any color you like. Another press of the menu, and now it's in an auto mode that transitions from one pattern to the next. And you can set the speed of that up to the highest setting of 99. When you hit the menu again, it's an auto function, but this time the transition between the patterns is a fade from one to the next. When you hit the menu again, this time the transition fades completely to black and then fades up to the next pattern. And again, you can set the speed of these with the up and down buttons. Another press of the menu button and now there's a strobing effect on top of the color transitions. So you can set the speed of the strobe up to a highest setting of 255. Then two more presses of the button and you're in an auto mode. This auto mode, frankly, is like the first one with the hard transitions between the patterns, only the up and down buttons don't work on this one. When you hit the menu again, now you're in sound active mode. In this mode, each time the microphone hears a transient, it progresses to the next color. You can adjust the microphone sensitivity with the up and down switches. And then there's another setting here. When you hit enter, you can change whether the lights go out between transients or whether they stay on. Black light or UV light, which is short for ultraviolet, falls in the color spectrum just below visible light at wavelengths less than about 400 nanometers. Bees can see UV light and other animals like birds use UV to see markings that are only visible in that range. There are paints and marking pens that are invisible unless under UV light, as well as fluorescent tapes, posters, makeup balloons, and even bubbles. A combination of fluorescent decorations and black light can make a great effect for a haunted house, a dance floor, or your next party. Like most DMX fixtures, if you want to get the most precise control of the functions, you need to use a DMX controller. So I'm going to use my trusty Chauvet Obey 40. This is a 10 channel fixture. On channel two, you can control the red. Channel three, the green. Channel four, the blue. 
channel 5 is white, and channel 6 is the level of the ultraviolet light. Now, you can mix any of these in any combination. I'm going to put a couple different colors together, and then you can control them all with the master fader on channel 1. Channel 7 has no function, strangely. Channel 8 is a strobing function. The higher values are the faster strobing speeds. And then I'm going to go to the second page on the controller, and I'm going to go to channel 9. Channel 9 accesses the fixture's auto functions as well as sound active function, and you can set the microphone sensitivity via DMX, which is a pretty cool feature. And when you're in one of these auto functions, you can control the speed with channel 10. Well, let's wrap this up by syncing two of these daisy-chained units to a spooky audio soundtrack. Waveform is a really cool audio workstation that you can download for free and run on a Mac or PC. And I've got it running on my old MacBook Pro, where I've imported this very scary audio track. And because my Obey 40 can trigger scenes with a MIDI input, and because Waveform, or most DAWs for that matter, can record an output MIDI, I'm going to connect my laptop to the DMX controller with this simple USB MIDI interface. I've programmed three very simple scenes into the controller. Scene 1 is a red wash. Scene 2 is the black light. And scene 3 is a white strobe. Next, I'm going to program a MIDI control track that syncs the lights to the audio by placing these notes or events with the pencil tool. Then when I play the track back, the MIDI notes will trigger the scenes on the Obey 40 and sync with the audio. It's a really great way to automate a show, and it takes any event up to a more professional level. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.